Okay, it's time to finish up this portrait here and I'm gonna work on the rest of the garment that you see. It's on the left corner here. Just that little bit of garment and that's gonna finish up the, the whole portrait. And I'll just go and do some touch-ups uh, as well to, to complete it. And that's what we'll be doing in this video. Okay, I'm gonna start with the H pencil here. And uh, I just want to lay down some uh, base tone for this garment. The H pencil is kind of like right in the middle of things. It's, uh, it's a hard pencil, thus the H. Uh, more on the lighter side of, of a whole set of pencils. But it's not, the, it's not that light. In, in other words, it is the uh, darkest of the H pencils. But I'm going to just lightly uh, put down some base tone to get started. If you look in the reference photo, you'll notice that it, it is a very light looking garment, so I don't need to shade it down too dark. As usual after I do uh, the shading you know I like to come in with like a q-tip or something and uh, just start to blend it out smooth it out give it a nice even tone all the way around Now I'm going to pick up my 4B pencil. Uh, I want to get some darker tones in here. And so I'm going to look at the, the areas that would have the darkest tone. And remember that um, these get blended down. So even though uh, I go in a little bit on the darker side and uh, compared to the reference, you will see that tone down when I start to blend it again. Notice that I'm focusing on just the darker areas on this garment with my 4B and then I'm going to go and blend it with my paper blender now where I can push those uh, that graphite around a little bit it kind of acts like its own little pencil and so I'm smoothing it out and I'm moving it around Now I'm going to start picking out the highlights and also toning down some of the dark areas here so I can get the uh, pattern of this garment as I've showed in the previous parts of this video or this video series I should say uh, just using my low tack frisket tape and a uh, pointed object some kind of a stylist here with a little ball on the end and uh, just pulling off uh, highlights in, in a kind of a line pattern, checkerboard, and so forth. And it 
has really been working effectively as if you've noticed the previous videos. I hope you've had a chance to watch those. Eraser is also a really good tool to use to pick up and lighten areas. So you can just spot lighten certain areas. And uh, so I really uh, like to use the kneaded eraser. It's commonly used by uh, pencil artists. For 
refining edges with a dark area, I often use this General's Extra Hard 2H Charcoal Pencil. And uh, it just gives me more detail and more control where you have just that really dark shadow right at the edge of the garment itself it separates it from the, uh, the skin here. And so I'm just going through with that and just making sure that that's um, showing up. And I want to mention that whenever you lay down pencil and you, you feel that you may have laid down just a little bit too much, which usually would be the case often, you know, you just go back and uh, pick it off with your kneaded eraser, put a little point on it and uh, just make an adjustment. So you go in with your pencil, you draw you know, your little shading or whatever it is, and then look at it and say, hmm, okay, it needs a little of adjustment here, a little adjustment there. Okay, so now I'm going back and uh, working on that pattern again. I'm just going to go in with my light 2H pencil here and uh, just kind of refine uh, a little bit of the fold because you know you have a, a minor change of tone uh, when you're on one side of a fold to another there's always that slight change of tone so I'm just going to put that in there with the uh, 2H a little bit and then if I feel that I've gotten a little heavy-handed I'll just pull some of that puppy out with uh, blending and, and the eraser so I'm going to go in here with my Tombow Mono Zero Eraser Stick and there's where I'm kind of refining and toning down some of that uh, 2H that I put in there and then of course the Q-tip helps smooth it out and, and bring that down. You can see how it's starting to match up really nice to the original. And so it's just a matter of adjustments back and forth. Okay, and again with my low tack frisket tape and this uh, pointed stylus, I'm putting in the patterns by pulling out some of the graphite, making an adjustment here with my pencil, then I'll pull out some more. try to pull out some of those little fray fabric uh, hairs uh, in the dark area here using the frisket and uh, stubborn areas eh, why not bring out the electric eraser pen to see if that will help the only problem that I find using this electric is that it will make the hairs a little too thick uh, and so I'll have to go back in there with a pencil and I will have to thin that out just a little bit and blend it better into the background so it looks like a nice just thin uh, frizzy from the fabric itself as you saw I just did there. need to finish up the right ear here uh, I've ignored it pretty much throughout this series so it, there's not much detail in this ear it, it just has a very light base tone and uh, just a little small area where it, it would be darkened so I'm going to kind of focus on that really quick there's, there's really not a lot to uh, to show on this because it's just void of a lot of detail as you can see <music> Now 
remember I've mentioned before the use of this pencil, the 2H Extra Hard Charcoal. And notice I'm using it to refine the edge between the ear and a dark area. And I often will do this. Now to pull out just some very, very, very minor uh, highlight areas here, just to make sure that I have the change of tone, uh, just to match the reference as clean as possible, differentiate uh, where the lobe is and uh, where the curl of the ear is and everything. Uh, it's just kind of the perfectionist thing, very important. Just get in there and uh, make it match the best you can. with my uh, Tombow Mono Zero eraser pen again just just to get the little details get all that nice little uh, change of pattern to look just right where you can actually see that there is an ear there and not just this plain single mono toned lobe <laughs> So the portrait for the most part is finished, but now is a good time to go through and try to find little areas that you can improve on. So I'm looking at darkening some areas within the hair, you know, bring out some of those shadow areas and, and uh, the really brings the highlights out uh, that are adjacent to it.
do some touch up on the eye, uh, just making sure the pupil looks really good, uh, the pattern within the eye, you know, just make these little adjustments. Now is a good time to do it, when, you know, especially uh, before presentation, you know, if you are doing this for a client like I am, you, you really want to go over it and make sure that uh, you do the little things. Just go and make sure everything looks good. Okay, well, that's going to be a wrap. Um, I'm all done. Uh, I'm going to take this off the uh, tripod here and give you a little closer look at the final drawing. But this portrait is considered finished, and I will be, uh, you can see I've already signed it. There's the details of the fabric itself, the little hairs coming off of it. I'm very proud of this piece. It came out really well, and I'm glad that you joined me for this journey. It took a few months uh, of videos, but um, I appreciate you sticking in there. And uh, look forward to uh, the next uh, series. So uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Click the like button, and uh, I'll see you in the next series of videos. Thanks for watching.